Our next speaker is uh, Dr. Leonard Calabrese. Uh, we, we thought Leonard wasn't going to make it, but uh, he's, he's a hero here. He uh, rebooked everything and he showed up. Uh, he's got his bachelor's degree at John Carroll, his uh, uh, DO at Kansas City University. He was then a fellow in internal medicine, I think, at Cleveland Clinic. A fellow is like an uh, intern resident. And then he also was a, fellow, a real fellow in rheumatology and immunology, uh, professor of medicine at Cleveland Clinic. Um, and you can see his other titles. I'll take my time up. OK. Here's all the other. Uh, and he's going to talk today about vasculitis. Hey, thank you very much. So it was an interesting trip. Uh, it was a delightful staying in the Tampa airport yesterday and last night. To <laughs> got here with at least five minutes to spare. And at any rate, so uh, it's uh, nice to be at this meeting. It has a long history. Um, um, uh, coming from, uh, uh, we haven't uh, got spring quite yet, although opening day is only a week away. Um, although you guys are all meeting out, I have to lobby for my meeting, which is coming up in uh, a month. Biologics 3, it's a fabulous meeting, uh, 25 international speakers, uh, satellite symposium with uh, people like Steve Nissen and Joseph Smolin and uh, some of the major figures. Uh, so if you have any more days off, come see us. I'm going to talk about vasculitis. This is one of my favorite things to chat about. And uh, I'm going to talk about the standards of therapy, uh, what we have had, and now um, the results of many, many uh, con uh, uh, trials, many of which are uh, randomized and controlled, um, and uh, talk about what we should be doing now, and then talk a little bit about the horizon of <coughs> biologics. So I'm going to limit my comments mostly to talking about life-threatening forms of systemic necrotizing vasculitis. So you can kind of assume that uh, the 95% confidence intervals of this discussion are going to be ANCA-associated vasculitides. Uh, and that's for where most of the data comes from. If you try to extrapolate this to life-threatening polyarteritis nodosa, it's, a, it's kind of a stretch. Um, but you know, for Wegener's granulomatosis, Churg-Strauss, microscopic polyangiitis, this works pretty good. I'll make a few comments about some other conditions, including cryo and GCA, toward the end. So if we're talking about treatment, what are we really talking about? First of all, we're talking about what do we measure? Well, we want patients to survive. But we wanted to do more than survive. We'd like to have them survive um, and salvage uh, their major 